welcome back to the New Lincian Studio. I'm Jeff Bauer and thanks for tuning in to, uh, to our first video cast of 2010. And today we're discussing a new painting done in 2010 called Sunrise with Morning Star. This painting is oil on canvas, it's 24 inches by 24 inches. This painting is done uh, in a style similar to the stained glass that is associated with the arts and crafts movement. Uh, lots of connecting lines, lots of vertical horizontal connecting to little squares that have a lot of white, bright, open space as well as some coloration to show the interrelationship between various objects. And in the case of Sunrise with Morningstar, there are four objects which we want to discuss as being interrelated. Those objects are the Sun, the Earth, the ecliptic, and the planet Venus, which in this case is the Morningstar. So the Sun, of course, is the bright yellow disk in the center extending out. So wherever there are yellow squares or circles or arcs, those represent the realm of the Sun. The blue line, the blue arc going through, which interconnects with the Sun at various places, this is the realm of the Earth's sky. And then down here at the bottom, the realm of the planet itself, the bright green grass, which here outside the sky is represented as much darker grass because it's in night. The magenta line going across diagonally from the bottom left to the upper right represents the ecliptic. This is the line upon which the sun, the moon, and the planets appear to travel as they cross our sky. And then up here on the ecliptic also, represented by the colors copper and silver, is the planet Venus, the morning star herself, sitting there in the, these, these metallic colors that should shimmer and represent the great beauty that Venus has low in the uh, western sky at sunset as the evening star, or in this case, low in the eastern sky as the morning star. And so this is how they are related. The, the sun goes through everything, permeates everything. It's connected to the ecliptic and to Venus and to the earth and to our own sky. The earth, of course, intermingles. The green intermingles with the yellow of the sun down here and goes out beyond to the realm of night. And the earth's sky, bright blue for the daytime, dark blue for here outside a little bit beyond the realm of the sun. Venus is connected to our sky because we can see it. But in general, the lines on here only connect to the lines of the sun because it's not based upon the gravity of the earth per se, but because it's tied to the sun's gravity. So the lines of Venus, the copper and the silver, go down to the sun's lines here and here. Venus sits on the magenta line, the ecliptic, because it follows the ecliptic across the sky. So that's the very quick overview of the painting. That's well, a very new style for us for 2010. Uh, there will be some more things you can see on the website, such as the Phases of Venus, uh, Bold Orion, and the Compass Rose, which are starting to, to see more and more of this style develop. So please check out the website. I hope that you like it. And as always, uh, we appreciate your comments and questions. You can email us at arts at newlincian.com. Again, I'm Jeff, Sunrise with Morningstar 2010. Thanks for tuning in, and I hope that you enjoyed the video.